blessings once again on the road yeah and so I've been thinking about this particular thing that's been on my mind and you know I figure it's becoming like its own little pandemic in people's consciousness right because so much people have been online posting and all of a sudden the psychology of what's wrong with online posting is becoming apparent and some psychologists are selling us these new dysfunctional tendencies and they're actually selling it to us through online ads and programs you know it's so very strange that you are critiquing the experience of people who go online and post their experiences and you're actually critiquing critiquing that experience and then posting your critique of the whole online process online isn't that strange is that you know psychologically that ain't nobody gonna come to your seminars unless you post it online is that a deficiency in an individual consciousness or is that a construct of a greater societal development the drive towards an impersonal interpersonal connections with human beings is that any specific human beings desire or is that been a collective drive but anyway to my point exactly that I want to make there's a lot of people critiquing and saying there's a lot of fake posts and people are posting fake experiences and therefore there is this epidemic of you know fakeness you know unrealness in human beings and so psychologically the question came to me Jerome why would humans on a mass scale be fake and I had an encounter and it brought some clarity to me I was walking and I said morning to a very mature woman with her children she didn't respond and also her children did not respond but in a space where people would respond to them if you told them good morning good evening and they didn't know they didn't need to know who you are and then the spirit struck this golden card inside of me and I heard the song gong of clarity go off and it says Jerome people post fake experiences people embellish experiences because of the disrespect the dishonor they face from other human beings other human beings not giving them the due place of respect as an honorable human being and why is that important because human beings control the environment in which human beings live so if on a mass scale you cannot get due respect for who you are as a human being the tendencies the tenets the behaviors that you hold as your own identity then it seems to me people are going to construct a false identity a false idea of who themselves in psychology they know this from a long time it's called a mask people wear a mask long before these pandemics right people were wearing masks to mask the experience of their lives because they did not want to be dishonored by individuals who are looking at them as a less than so they're posting a fake reality to quantify the dishonor in the way people are treating them in a manner that is honorable so they're posting what they think you want to see the way that you would honor them when you see them that way and let us be real it's a small percentage of people that will honor and respect people for who people truly are literally it's a small percentage of people will do that even amongst the so-called friendship groups there are very few friends that will see you exactly as you are and not judge you in a negative light so why would people feel confident in showing their true natures their true selves if everybody's gonna say we're seeing t2 cooking you know too much ear on his face you know he's rasta she's jew he's a christian those people don't belong to any group you understand me they are goths they are this they are that and those separation of stratification is why people are so fake i'm posting a fake reality because blessings brother blessings because people want acceptance right and if people have to fake it 
to get the dignity that you don't block up the pathway on them in life because it's humans control the pathway so when humans are being unfair to each other they make it difficult for others to survive so people just play along yeah with your religious thinking they play along with your metaphysical thinking they play along with your psychological dysfunctional thinking they play along they play along they give you an image right and so that's why there is this epidemic now this pandemic of fakeness yeah but humans still know how to be real the question is will the institutions that are forcing control upon human thinking know how to be real have they been so separated from true human experience that they don't even really know how to be genuine anymore because institutions and next of human beings are just these big empty spaces with a whole lot of data that relates to nothing so when you think of pleasing the greater construct who says society cannot change it's made up of human beings why are you holding on to the unreal perceptions you have of yourself and forcing others to be unreal that is why the fake posting is getting out of control